It was 10 years ago this weekend that the child sex abuse scandal surrounding former football coach Jerry Sandusky exploded into view. Sandusky ultimately convicted on 45 counts of child sex abuse. This evening I spoke with the prosecutor on the case. Anything to say to your supporters? Early November 10 years ago this weekend, a firestorm erupted in Happy Valley. The arrest of Jerry Sandusky touched off a scandal that rocked Penn State University, its famed football program, and a legendary coach. The wounds ran deep, lingering for most of the past decade. The scars slow to fade. The allegations, former Penn State football coach Jerry Sandusky had preyed on children he met through the charitable organization he founded, The Second Mile. The indictment also charged top university officials Tim Curley and Gary Schultz for lying to the grand jury. Joe Paterno was ousted by the university's board of trustees in those days in early November 2011. It doesn't seem like it, but it's been 10 years now. Since the arrest. Joe McGettigan prosecuted the Sandusky case. McGettigan, now practicing with the McAndrews law firm based in Berwyn, joined me on Zoom Sunday evening. What really stands out about the prosecution of Jerry Sandusky? The witnesses, my victims in the case, you know, their extraordinary resilience um, and their willingness to, uh, um, to make the commitment to go forward. Uh, and testify. McGettigan described the several victims as traumatized young men who did the right thing. Sandusky would be convicted on 45 of 48 counts. He's been imprisoned since. And for the first time, here are letters, prison mail, addressed to me from Jerry Sandusky. The disgraced assistant coach defended Joe Paterno and quoted Franco Harris saying, the grand jury presentment was a lie. Sandusky's appeal efforts have all failed. All these years later, what's your estimation of Jerry Sandusky? He was obviously a prolific serial predator um, and caused untold damage. The, the true extent of the amount of damage he did and the number of people that he harmed is something that I don't know. I don't know that anybody knows. Sandusky remains incarcerated in a prison about 45 miles east of Pittsburgh. His earliest possible release, not until 2042.